downloaded over 500 million times with over 23 million daily users, Pokemon Go has become one of the most popular games ever in the history of mobile applications. This game benefits the economy as well as the health and historical knowledge of the players. The world of video games, you're basically locked up in your room pretty much. Pokemon Go gets you out and lets you like see the world or see your surroundings, basically see other people as you're playing. It's not like you don't communicate with other people when you're playing video games because you have online gaming. But uh, this one's different because you're actually getting to see people. Pokemon has made items compatible with the game, and there are multiple YouTube accounts whose full-time job is to play Pokemon. Large companies such as Sprint and Starbucks have partnered with Pokemon to offer incentives to players. Thank you so much. For a limited time, Starbucks is offering this Pokemon Go Frappuccino. It is a vanilla-based coffee blended with raspberry and blackberry. pretty good. The game also benefits players' health. Winthrop graduate student Robin Thompson and Professor Someone Seth Jenny conducted research on the game's impact. I mostly researched the benefits of it, um, physical, emotional, and social, and we found that while playing Pokemon Go, people who were um, typically more sedentary actually had an increase in physical activity while they were playing. We found that Pokemon Go encouraged social interaction because um, a lot of people played with friends and also they congregated at different Pokestops. And then it's been shown that it can help with depression because physical activity is known to um, help fight depression. So it's another um, just active outlet um, for people to use to um, feel better. Certainly this game is not just for 12 and 13 year olds, it's, there's plen there are plenty of adults that play Pokemon Go. What we decided to do was to try to host a fitness event on campus through recreation services, uh, integrate a little bit of fitness into some of the stations that were performed at the, uh, at the event, and then um, also track step counts to see how many um, steps were taken during the event. Anecdotal evidence of t speaking to people um, where they talked about how they tended to exercise a little bit more or walk more when they were playing Pokemon Go. As players travel on their Pokemon journey, many of the Pokestops have historical significance. Players can click on the description and learn about where they are. I'm standing here outside Johnson Hall, which is the main building for communication and performing arts here at Winthrop. Now when I pull up the app, I'm able to click on the Pokestop that Johnson is, spin to get the items, and also click up top to read a little bit of history about the building. Who knew that this building was constructed with funds from John D. Rockefeller? Thanks Pokemon Go! This has been Josh Rogers, News from the Woo.